Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the Bueno Power Vlog. And I'm back here in a um, <clears throat> good old Bay Area where it's uh, nice and nice and wet. Um, I did myself up and looked all pretty and shit. But I think that's gonna, it's gonna go away. It's not so bad though, the rain's not that bad. We're out to uh, go get some waffles and pancakes. Do it up. I'm kind of excited for these pancakes, guys. <laughs> you know, so. Remember, eat a, eat a big breakfast, kids. It's, it's always a good thing. <clears throat> All right, so we are here at the Millbrae Pancake House. And um, with these two, I had, <laughs> I had requested. Thank you. Oh, I had requested to, uh, to take them out uh, for breakfast and we decided on some pancakes. Um, check this out. I'm actually wanting to get the apple pancake and then I'm probably going to go with an egg Florentine. Um, no, no bacon. <laughs> the egg Florentine is hella good. I'm going to get both of them. It's really good. Yeah. They're getting the leftover deals. All right, so we are here at the Target and Saramonte Mall, and we're gonna see if we can find a couple of things. So we're gonna find the Oreos. Yes, the Oreos. And we're gonna get some kibble for the little, the little corgage. And then, yeah. And that's it. Lemon, salted caramel. Now what is the challenge exactly? No, it's just us just eating a bunch of Oreos and just trying to like describe what's it's good or not. We can do four. Have you tried red velvet yet? Yeah. You tried red What about winter? I don't think I have. No. What about cinnamon? Cinnamon. Yeah, we've tried that. I have not tried peanut butter. Or the mystery. The mystery you have to guess, right? Okay, well, yeah, we have to do the mystery. The win actually, I actually like this. How come this can't be like a challenge itself where it's like, you know, you try one because you never know what you're going to get, right? It's, like a, whole, it's, it's like a box of chocolate almost. Is the whole package one mystery <laughs> flavor or is each one in, is a different flavor? We can just do that. I don't, I don't know if it's a... I think it, I think it would be. We can try to describe it. But we can always have a backup too, though. Yeah, just in case. Apple pie is graham cracker flavor cookie. I've never tried this. Okay, get that one. Try get this. that one. <laughs> Hi! Uh, today we are actually going to try four of these different brands of Oreo cookies. We have the winter flavor. The peanut butter. Peanut butter. Uh, the apple pie. Apple pie. And your mystery Oreo that we will be trying last. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So we're going to try each individual one and sort of just rate it to see if we like it or dislike it or whatever. So, um, you want to dig in? Which one first? This one. Winter. Go all the way from here. Okay. This one is winter. And I'll show you a little bit. It tastes like winter. Ooh, it smells like. Oh, are we supposed to eat it for No, just eat oh. it. Yeah. Oh, would you do it? Yeah. Basically, <laughs> this <laughs> this Oreo tastes like the same Oreo. The same Oreo, but in, <laughs> in red. <laughs> same great taste <laughs> with red cream. Right. Nicely That's done. That's red cream. Mm. Which was the intent. Mm -hmm. Well. Ten out right. ten. Where did it get? I think it was a little <laughs> more expensive because it came in red too. I. You know what I. I wouldn't doubt it. All right, we're gonna try peanut butter. Is it on? Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right, guys, come on, try it. Everyone, thank you. And this is what it looks like. Peanut butter. It smells like um, like it, like it has. It smells like it'd be like peanut butter. I guess it. Peanut butter. Nice. Peanut butter. Okay. All right. Reminds me of um Tastes like nutter butters. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. No. Oh, yeah. Nutter butters or the um what is the wafer? Yeah. The nutty nutty bar? bars. The nutty bars. Nutty bars and nutty butter. Nutty butter. All right, we're gonna try the the final two of these Oreos. This is the apple pie. Hey, All right. I like apple pie. There you go. I got it for you, dude. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Where'd my coffee go? It's over there. There we go. Mm. You know what's funny? It tastes like those one of those apple pies you would get over at McDonald's, but it's cold. Oh, I like it. Okay. It almost tastes like apple jacks. Mmm. You were hitting it on the nail with all the um. Mm hmm What it's similar to. Mm-hmm. Because <sighs> it's like a candy apple flavor, not like an apple. Right. And now. And the final one. You could win $50,000 if you get it right. The heck? Let's just look at the ingredients. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This is a mystery. There's cocoa, corn syrup, natural flavor, artificial flavor, and chocolate. Mm. It's probably like almond flavored coconut something. All right, try it, guys. Watch, is this Oreos? <laughs> yeah, Whoa, it's like... Oh, Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Fruit Loops. Right. I like the smell. <laughs> Good boy. Mm-hmm. Mm you need uh, cereal and uh, cereal. You need milk with it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, this tastes like fruity pebbles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like fruity pebbles. Mm -hmm. I, what's your favorite? I love that. Winner. Oh. <laughs> Winner. Mine's the peanut you? butter. Well, that was pretty good, yeah. Peanut butter was good, but that's gonna be second to the if original. You go, go, um, <laughs> put it in order. Yeah. Put it in order of what is your favorite to your least favorite. Mm -hmm. I I think this is my least favorite. Wow. I, uh, honestly, I would say 
Because this tastes, this is basically the original with red mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. but it's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Solid choice. Right. So yeah. I would say... 9 out of 10. I would say peanut butter, apple pie, wow. Oreo with winter cream, and your uh, Fruity Pebble one. I think, uh, yeah, I think Fred Flintstone endorsed this one. <laughs> Possibility. I, I don't know, man. All these, like, if you, like, okay, so if you were to take all of these, right, mm -hmm. and then you put them together, and you just put them away, right, <laughs> and then you take this one, right, and this is probably like the only one that you probably want to get out of the store because, to be frank, that's, those are pretty trash. <laughs> Low tier Oreos for sure. Like, I'm surprised you don't like the peanut butter. Nah, you don't like peanut butter. Pretty bad. Yeah, I, I like peanut butter, but this peanut butter is just not doing uh, it. If I want peanut butter, aftertaste. you get Reese's Pieces, not okay. Oreos peanut butter. Okay. I get that. Mm -hmm. like, or Twix. The the peanut butter Twix. Is there a peanut butter Twix? There is. Peanut 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 Twix. Twix. What about you? What about you? First. <laughs> And then maybe these, like, well, actually, this one has a funny aftertaste, so that'll probably yeah. be the last now. It'll be like that. <sighs> original. The original. The original. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Alright, so I am getting ready to upload this video on YouTube in... I'm uh, gonna go head with Brubra and Lala to a Japanese tea garden. And the funny thing is, is that I've never been to the Japanese tea garden, even living here in the Bay at the time. Uh, maybe because I was broke. But um, now I have some money. Let's go to the Japanese tea garden. Okay. So we are on our way to the Japanese Tea Garden. Um, this actually area I've been to before um, years back because uh, I had a, a, a school trip that I did with a, a, a photo a photo group, and it was in uh, Fresno City College years ago. And I was with uh, Tom Halls, who's uh, actually inspired me to be a, a documentary uh, photojournalist type of photographer. I'm not so much of that these days, other than documenting my own experiences, but um, again, this is actually my first time ever going to this garden, and uh, should be a lot of fun. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, we should. I wish Benson could have came with us. <laughs> the homie yeah. doesn't have any shots, man. <laughs> have no shots. Oh, he hasn't had any shots yet. What? Well, he has first, first round. round. Oh, okay. These guys. All four. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So let's let's give this a look. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, then, the um, here we have some people who are drinking some tea over there at the venue, and it's very delicious. Very subtle, nice tea. <laughs> are filled with the finest of teas. <laughs> if you would you dip... Go left or... <laughs> we go left, that's fine. If you dip a cup in the lake and brew <laughs> the water that's in the lake, you'll come out with this magnificent tea. <laughs> How'd you get sick? <laughs> oh, God. He said that it's tea in the lake. <laughs> that's funny. at the Japanese tea garden you find this exclusive rake made of tea. <laughs> Finest tea leaves known to them. Delicious. <laughs> oh god, that's so good. Folklore stage that means 
orange <laughs> leaves here are not good for tea. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this right here is the pagoda. It's a pagoda. And the pagodas are Buddhist shrines usually made of stone, brick, or wood. Derived from the stupa of ancient India, a funeral mound erected over the remains of a holy man or king. Japanese pagodas were based on Chinese prototypes introduced into Japan in the 6th century. And four-story and large pagodas was generally furnished uh, and contained an altar. Upper stories were plain and unfurnished. Uh, the pagoda was from the Japanese exhibit of the Panama Pacific International Exposition of 1915. <clears throat> Which means I have no idea. So this is what it is, supposedly. <clears throat> I think right there, you see that oh, that little door? That's how tall they were. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. This could be a grave. This is, this is a pagoda? I guess. Some would say that it's the best place to make tea. <laughs> <laughs> and the only place to make tea. I, I actually kind of believe it. It's a pagoda. It's a pagoda. Oh, it's so sunny. It is sunny. It's a nice day. It's a nice day in the bay. <laughs> Japanese tea garden. Uh, yeah. Give me a beat. Drop a beat. I, I can't. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, no, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. We got this. Ew, 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 ew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chillin'. Chillin' want some tea If I drink too much, man, you know I gotta pee Uh, about to, about to pee my pants <laughs> Make me do my dance Bars <laughs> Bars, bars. Fuego. That was pretty good <clears throat> Release the Kraken Nice <laughs> Hey. Yes. Thank you. Alright. Thank you. Okay. Alright, guys. Russ is up. I am coming back soon. How do you how are you guys doing that? What? This is Wait. hot as fuck. Oh shit. How do y'all do that? What? <laughs> yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What the fuck? Really? That shit's hot. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, this is good. Well, How did because... your glasses not fall that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is pretty good. I forgot what we had last time here, me and your sister. <clears throat> Gin Maicha tea. Supposedly is the popcorn tea, <clears throat> the rice tea, right? <clears throat> Usually they drink it um, while you eat sushi. It's actually a good combination with it. Uh, but uh, from what I remembered, uh, this type of tea is actually labeled as the poor man's tea because there's actually rice mm -hmm. in it. So, you know, they couldn't really afford really good tea. So, this is what you got. <sighs> All right, so we are in a uh, Geary and 11th Avenue, which is uh, one of the homes of a Korean restaurant called My Tofu House. My Tofu, My Tofu House. And so I was craving some Korean food today, and so they brought me. Isn't that pretty cool? This right here is the baked tofu bibimbap. We got the pork, right? Mm -hmm. What do you got? Mm. Combination to nobojige. Yes. Like you want the, high, the rice like finds at the bottom. Yes, the crusties. That's what you want. Yes. <clears throat> the 
the baked tofu is uh, really good. I love the combination of vegetables that they're using. Um, obviously, they have that you know that egg on the top. <clears throat> Everything about this right here is just, just right. I think that I think that uh, I'll be coming back here again soon. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we are now going to be eating at Toto's. So they say that this pizza is pretty good. And um, they are also honest that it may not um, be as good as New England. But uh, hey, I'm down for any pizza. <laughs> My expectations, you know, I'm not going to set them so high, but uh, it should be good. This is not bad, but I think that if they had, probably one of the problems is if you see this, there's a little liquid right there, is because it's all the vegetables. So the vegetables probably was uh, baked inside the, the oven, a lot of it, and probably just went through the bread. That's why the bread in the bottom is kind of soft. Otherwise, the, the ingredients that they're using, it's, it tastes pretty fresh to me. Uh, this is not bad. Alright, so I am here at this joint called The Icicles. And they have a seasonal uh, one called The Ube Everywhere. And uh, I'm pretty stoked on this actually. I kind of wanted to try it. Um, and, um, you know, we had just this good ice cream. Uh, in, in the East Coast, there's also some good ice cream, I'm sure, in the West. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Look at this. Check it out. Looks like a pancake. <laughs> and with the, the toasted uh, coconut flakes right there. That's my shit. That's, that's that Filipino shit right there. Yeah, look at that. It looks amazing. Really excited. Right here.
Anjo Burger Bar. I've never been here before. And it looks like they have some. They may have something for me here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad they had something. Here we go. This is the Conjo Burger, and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's dip this in. It has this uh, Conjo sauce. I don't know what this is, but put with the fry. Almost has like kind of a ketchupy taste, but. A little bit of mayo or something, I don't know. Let's give this a shot. What? You broke the egg already? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so I had the, the Conjo burger. It was probably one of my favorite burgers I've had so far here <coughs> in uh, California. I mean, obviously, when you have your in and out it's, it's so slamming, but when you're having like artisan type of burgers, this one's in uh, downtown San Jose. Uh, pretty amazing. I, I'd, I'd recommend go going back and, and kind of trying out the other selections with that patty. <laughs> All right, we're uh, in Oakland now, and uh, here are some of the kind of sad parts of the city. I mean, they have, I mean, I think in San Francisco or Bay Area in general had um, uh, sort of issues with, with homelessness. Uh, and and um, I remember a long time ago, um, someone had, um, I think it was... Uh, here in, in the Bay Area that uh, the government had given people like the homeless people tickets uh, to a bus somewhere out of the city to make the city just like clean up a little bit uh, I'm not entirely sure, sure if that's the, the correct information but um, yeah it, it's it's pretty it's pretty upsetting I mean seeing these people who don't have uh, the kind of means that you know we have and are forced to live in situations under their control um, I guess you what you can do is you can do what you can to help you know uh, stop homelessness feed them I mean they some of them have like mental uh, disabilities as well and you know there's no way and I don't know why but you know there's not any kind of way to aid them at this point so it's kind of kind of sucky Here we go. Good food, good people, good music. Solely vegan. Vegan soul. This family household, 
Well, you don't want to go anywhere at night. This is what you eat. We got grilled cheese, animal style fries, french fries, protein burger, and a double double. Every day. Only the best. Good morning. It is the 30th of November. <clears throat> I'm here and getting dressed to go on a downtown city adventure where I may be <clears throat> meeting up with a good amount of people that I haven't seen in quite some time. So. I don't know what to look like. I don't know what to, where to meet them at. Um, a high school friend, a person that I've been following online. Yeah, it's the whole lot of shit. But I'm here, <clears throat> trying to figure it out. And. Um, you know, one of the parts that I hate about uh, being a photographer is that you're not sure what to bring. Ever. <laughs> that's just that's just the reality of it. Especially like even if you live in the city, like you always want to be prepared because San Francisco, some pretty. They, they deliver you some pretty um, random results. And <clears throat> I'm hoping that today the kind of random result will be in my favor. And I'll be able to shoot pretty much the whole day. I've shot six rolls one time. It was pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, let's see what the street's got for me. I'm not even sure myself. Hey, what's happening? So I am here at uh, <clears throat> the BART station here in Daly City. This is actually my um, old uh, stopping grounds heading to the city. And um, this is the steps that I usually would take. And most of the pictures that I took for my series, Moments in the Same Place, actually um, uh, were born here. And <clears throat> they, they were definitely a significant um, uh, point in my life that uh, I needed as far as like <clears throat> photography was concerned. Um, just as like how how much I, I learned, how quick I needed to be photographing, you know, images and <clears throat> what to look for. I mean, goddamn, I mean, look at it. <clears throat> this place is, for me, it was pretty huge and it was, a, it was a big stepping stone in my life for sure that I was able to <clears throat> take, take those opportunities and Come to the city, man, and just practice. This is what it was. It was practice. <clears throat> That's all it was, was practice. And <clears throat> I hope that soon I can get back into that uh, creative practice once again. And only time will tell when I can do that. <laughs> we'll see what happens. found like a couple of pictures to take or even just being here. It's nuts. It's definitely nuts. <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't fake you couldn't fake this moment for real. <laughs> you just I'm so glad I'm home. Oh 
my god, it's been a long time. Oh. It's been so long too, man. Oh, your hair looks great. Oh, thank you very much. I got it from a Connecticut barber that I go to nice. now every day. So. Nice. Yeah. What are you shooting on? Right this, now? Well, right now, this is what I got. So, and so I'm just taking pictures as much as I can. Um, are you available to go get some lunch or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take my lunch whenever. So I'm just grab my sunglasses and then roll it. Okay, all right. If you want, you can come up and do my desk. Yeah, sure. This is Kelly's, uh, this is Kelly's workspace. This is my manager, Chris. Hey, manager, manager Chris. Hello. Hi, manager Chris. <laughs> oh. oh. This is my front art from... Hey, what's going on? This is my space here. And there's oh, like, wow. all the, I'm working on this like giant like uh, vinyl graphic that has like the Oh, okay. Sheesh. <laughs> Damn. So I'm sure the. Wonder what your uh, images look like on those printers. Well, I got one of them printed out right here. Okay. Like did like a surface mount thing to it. You know, it's the only food that you can really get in this neighborhood. So. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not entirely uh, I I mean, I'm 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 willing to try anything. So it's kind of uh, yeah. How long <laughs> are you in town for? Well, I'm here until Saturday. I was supposed to meet uh Joe Guir over. Oh yeah, cool. You yeah. Didn't know you. I knew him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I I mean, internet wise, I I I know him. I I've seen him. Yeah. And kind of seen him grow and stuff as a photographer, which is pretty cool. Um, but uh, I mean, I just haven't got a chance to kind of just, uh, you know, really kick it with him, kick it with him. And I was supposed to do that this morning, but he was asleep. So, uh. <laughs> um, so I decided yeah. to go to like Glass Key Photo and to get some film and start shooting a little bit before I met you up. And then, uh, what do you think about the new Glass Key? Uh, you know what? I, I I think I like it. It's nice. I think I, I like the it. The first time, because I like didn't know that they moved, and I. Like made it a point to get there before six and biked all the way to the right. lower hate and I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like that was so annoying. Yeah. But it's it is a nicer space. Yeah. They had like an opening party for it and there was just so many people there. I was of like, course. I was like, oh my god, I'm such like the, I'm an outcast here. I <laughs> well, you're. I mean, they're probably all guys that were there at that yeah. party, you know. And well, I mean, like, luckily. Uh, I mean, recently I just made a photo book with uh, a, another girl who I worked with mm -hmm. at, at Rayco, mm -hmm. and basically she and I made like a whole photo book of all women photographers working in film. Okay. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Go this way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're walking this little path. Are either. we GoProing? Yeah, we're GoProing, man. <laughs> GoPro. I gotta, I gotta like seal this moment of like how much I miss, <laughs> miss the city, miss Yay. you guys. You know what I mean? I, I seriously do. I miss everybody because I feel like, like when you're talking stuff like that, like you know, women photography, like kind of coming together and making like you know a solid, tangible document. You know, it's kind of. It's kind of cool, you know. I didn't. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Uh, like we made it for Zine Fest, and then uh, I didn't order the books in time to get to uh, <laughs> right. get to us, and so I like ended up making them all by hand and like doing perfect bound, and like I only made ten copies, but it literally took me like thirty hours Shit. to make all of it, and I was just like, of course, of course. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I'm I support that kind of stuff, and I, I don't get that kind of like welcoming back, you know, back east. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Oh my god! This is the grumpy cafe. All right.
tear it up. This is my friend Rachel. Oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> Alright, so this is my buddy Rachel and uh, this is actually, to be honest, this is actually... How long has it been since we've seen each other? Uh, I think since high school. I didn't think since we, moved, we both moved away. Yeah, it was like, I think... Um, it was since 2004, so it was almost like 14 years ago, 15? Yeah, because yeah, I, I moved to LA to go to, or Orange County to go to school. That's right. Where did you, where'd you go to school at? Bar Institute. Oh! <laughs> Okay. California Arts Institute? No, not that fancy. The Art Institute. The Art Institute. The Art AI? Wow. I mean, what's going on with that school? I don't know, like, are they still, like, is it still... Uh, they're still around. They're for profit. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I went to Academy of Art University. It's a for-profit school, too, so... I feel you. Yeah, there's so many, so many things to pay for now. <laughs> oh, God. I'm almost done. You're almost done? Well, not quite. Yeah. Paid a lot off. Well, that's, well, what brought you back here to the Bay? Oh, my husband. Yeah. When he was my boyfriend. Yeah. He got a job. Okay. He's a software engineer. Okay. <laughs> the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, were you kind of tired of LA or were you loving no, it? Yeah. Here. I really like San Francisco, but I miss You miss the LA area? All right, I hope my GoPro doesn't fuck up today. Good morning, everybody. I'm back in the city, and it is the 1st of December, the day before I leave back to Connecticut. And I'm actually, hopingly, going to meet up with uh, <coughs> Joe here and get him some breakfast. I think I'm at the spot. It's 925 Larkin. That's the, that's the joint that we're supposed to be going to. So. Is it up or is it down? Almost at the spot, so I owe this dude some breakfast. I promised him breakfast. <laughs> I feel so bad I didn't get a chance to meet him yesterday, man. But uh let's go check it out. Holy shit. I'm actually really excited to go see this dude. He's uh I have to, I definitely have to respect this hustle, man. He's really uh, done a lot over the last few years trying to be uh, a working photographer. And you know, when you're in that, when you're hungry for that kind of like type of thing, you, uh, you'll, you'll eventually get there. You know, you eventually will get to that, that point. And I think that, uh, I think that once you do, you, uh, you just figure it out. Ah. Excuse me, guys. Finally meet you, man. Oh my God. I know that uh, it's been kind of busy for you. No, it's all good. I got a GoPro on just to kind of give you like a kind of a heads up. Say what's up to everybody. <laughs> How's it going? Oh God, it's been it's been kind of crazy. All right, so it's just me and Joe. We just had breakfast. And um, I gave him some prints because, you know, he's a print collector That's right. and um, kind of just talked to some shop. Um, the thing that uh, I don't know if you guys know about Joe. Um, OK, sorry about that. Um, he's been on the game for quite some time and um, got to respect that hustle, man. Um, he's pushing out as many photos as he can on his uh, Instagram. Um, he just recently did an exhibition uh, for the fire relief in Santa Rosa. Uh, if I'm if I'm correct, yep. <laughs> and um, now we're gonna go to his pad, kind of check it out and see uh, receive that uh, zine that I ordered from him about a week or two back, and um, and then uh, he's gonna go and uh, work out a work out a shoot, and I'm gonna be just hitting up the streets. So let's check out his place. Beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, you guys fuck with N64 too? <laughs> and finally here at uh at the place. This is um definitely definitely nice view. Check it out. Incredible shit. Fucking love it. There you go. Alright, so I got my present. Sad songs. This is probably a really important and look. You also get a, a print off the um, the fire relief uh, exhibition that he did uh, a while back. And he also gave me a strap and this. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's put together real nice. Hell yeah! I can't wait to bring this home. Yeah, that's. Oh shit! Yeah. That's hot. Okay, so yeah, you and I have the kind of the same issue as well with the, um, because the F-stops are like kind of loose. Are they? Yeah. They've always been like that on the voice. Have they? Mm hmm They're not really tight. <clears throat> they haven't, yeah, I, I was thinking that, um, I was thinking that, um, fucking, that it was just, you know, just only my lens, you know what I mean? But, yeah. you know, I, I guess I'm, uh. I guess I'm not alone on that. All right, dude, here you go, man. Anytime. I was hoping to give you something, like, for a while. I was just like, I don't know what to give this dude when I see him. Yeah. All right, so at this point, uh, Joe is actually allowing me to kind of hang out a little bit as he takes a shower, and it's, um, I got to kind of give him some props really to trust a stranger, really, like me. Uh, just to the fact that, like, you know, he basically opened up his home for me and just to kind of check out. Um, <clears throat> right now, we're actually in the kitchen, um, ready to, um, well, not ready, but uh, in the kitchen to kind of just go to the roof. And God damn it! Look how beautiful this is, guys. <clears throat> and what's cool about uh, San Francisco is that you know you you get these kind of unexpected like spots in the bay. You really do. Um, I think that, I hope I'm not trespassing here, but, um, if you look right here, look at that, man. I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how much, how cool this is. Living, living in the Bay Area may be expensive, but, you know, with enough determination, you'll, you'll definitely have a chance to fucking, you know, um, you know, get, get, get here and, and just work it out. <laughs> it's cool, man. It really is cool. I do, I do appreciate Joe for, for allowing me this opportunity to kind of check out his place and, you know. I really hope that he really continues to um, work in photography and just does it up, you know? At this point, I'm gonna see if I can take a couple of pictures and then uh, be hitting up the streets. All right, so I had finished my run with uh, Joe and I, I didn't get a chance to film uh, his friend Jake. Um, we kind of walked around downtown a little bit, going to take some pictures. Uh, I plan on going back there in that area after I go and eat this burrito. And uh, <laughs> the, the reason why I'm here in the Mission District is because I want to try out eating this burrito again. And um, this burrito joint is actually a, a joint that I uh, 
went with uh, Sean Custer and Theo Slavin about a couple of years ago. And um, I've been wanting to, you know, come back here ever since. And uh, I haven't had a chance to do that, uh, obviously, because I've been you know, stuck in the East Coast doing my own thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm going to see if I can uh, get that same burrito and munch it up. I don't even know if I'm hungry. Maybe I just want to eat this burrito because I just want to eat this burrito. <laughs> All right, I'm at the spot. This is Taquiera Cancun. And uh, this is the shop where I actually got, I think, my first burrito here in the Mission District. So let's go have a look. All right, here it is. The moment that I've been waiting for for quite some time. Oh God, look at that. Beautiful. It's like that burrito joint back in Connecticut. You know, on the first bite, you get the filling and you can hold it with your hand. So this is basically <laughs> another dream come true. <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. I'm, I'm walking like a snail now because I'm so full. You know, who would have thought like, you know, just a basket of chips and a burrito with just a cup of water will do it for you. And the funny thing is that I didn't even realize how hungry I was after I ate that. I was really hungry. <clears throat> but yeah, one of my favorite one of my favorite burrito spots, man. You can't you can't uh you can't go wrong with that shop, man. It's one of the best, for me at least. Alright, um I don't think I'm going to be coming up there, but uh, this right here is Koi Tower. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a while back, uh, a friend of mine, Rolo Tenedo, had uh, taken me up there just to kind of just check it out and just chill. Um, pretty pretty high up there. And, you know, I don't know. I might, I might even make a trek there if I, if I have the guts. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I am now, <laughs> let me get a better view of it. I am now at the uh, Koi Tower. <laughs> there, look at that. Kind of just went there by myself, or went here by myself. Yeah, I don't really know much about this tower, to tell you the truth. I just wanted to come here for the view. And uh, the view of the city is just completely awesome, you know. Um, yeah. Oh boy. I still need to. I still need to get uh get back in shape. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> so I'm just laying on my portable bed that they had provided me, and we are trying to figure out what we should eat for my last meal before I leave. 
And uh, I think what I'm going to do is when I eat this meal, when I come back, I'm going to eat the same meal. Uh, then what I left yeah, with. Should be good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Impossible or the Beyond Burger. Let's give this one a shot. Oh. funny is that you see that pink right there the kind of like an imitation of uh, the real meat kind of taste it's not real meat mm -hmm. wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> well, that pretty much does it for this episode the bueno power vlog um i got a first hand apologize that uh they were pretty long they're about maybe an hour or so long uh but there's just so much content uh for me to record and um to kind of uh uh you know add in to to the to what i've experienced in california and you know there have been um a lot of thoughts after uh coming back here to connecticut uh just in general just like what i've missed and you know, what I've ate and just the whole nine, you know, it, it's kind of cool that uh, things didn't change, but things did kind of change. You know, I was able to meet up with a couple of people. I was able to um, uh, eat at places I haven't eaten yet before or haven't eaten at in a long time. And <clears throat> that's kind of the, the beauty of it, you know, just um, being able to kind of experience vacation like that and let me tell you something like i haven't had a vacation in a long time and i think like last year like uh, last year's vacation was uh was actually spent at home i, I think i had mentioned that and uh <clears throat> you know coming back to uh california was uh certainly a a good time and, and i think that i'm i'm hoping to make the trek there um might be permanently um it just depends you know what i'm saying uh but yeah i mean for what it's worth you know a lot of um a lot of the shit's gonna be going on for the next few weeks uh i got um a couple of uh personal things to take care of and um i'm gonna try to work as much as i can i'm gonna finish off this year with a bang uh i'm also gonna be uh releasing some music hopefully this week or next week i it, it's probably gonna be this week just for the fact that um, you know, I've finished these two songs, uh, and it's a two song demo. I finished these two songs a while back, uh, just recently just sort of just mixed it a little bit and, um, made it sound a little bit more aggressive than it, than it was, uh, on a, on a, on a previous mix that I did. And, um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, next year I'm going to try and attempt to uh, create a, a body of work that coincides with the music that I uh, that I uh, that I make as well. So it's going to be a monthly thing. I make a song a month, uh, along with uh, images I want to take uh, for that month with one roll of film, and I'm going to try to do it all black and white. And that's hopefully. The theme that I can stick with next year is all black and white photography. Um, I think that it's going to be some variations of things. Um, I'm only going to be posting maybe on Mondays, uh, possibly on Wednesdays, uh, depending on how I feel about it. And um, I'm also going to be trying to attempt on, on some new things like um, streaming uh, my recording. Uh, I'm going to be recording uh, live. Um, and I think it would be kind of a good idea for me to do that. Uh, just so I can connect with other like uh, artists through Twitch, and Twitch has actually been a, a, a platform that's expanding from other genres aside from video games. So this may be my chance to sort of um, 
bring that kind of uh, community in Twitch because Twitch is a pretty awesome platform for streaming, man. Um, you know, people are doing some IRL stuff now, uh, like Andy Milanakis and, and such. So um, I, I think uh, I think I want to uh, go into that and and actually um, show you guys my process and seeing how like I'm doing shit. So. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite the the year next year, and I'm hoping to be as creative as much as I can. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this vlog, and um, just want to say thank you guys for watching, uh, being very supportive. Uh, it's it's almost the end of the year, and uh, I'm already like looking back at some of the videos that I have done uh, earlier this year, and just can't even imagine like how much like I put into this channel already. Uh, I'm 35 videos in, and it's pretty exciting to know that I actually stuck with it. Even, uh, you know, through my, like, you know, uh, personal um, issues with, uh, you know, divorce and stuff uh, that's still in the process, uh, I, um, I'm i just so happy that I'm able to kind of make this kind of content and uh, be able to share it with you guys. Uh, I don't know what this YouTube channel is going to turn into, um, but I know that next year I'm going to try to do the best I can to uh, do more, you know, of of uh, of, of these uh, videos every Monday. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want videos every Monday, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, and I know that this video is going to be uploaded a little late, but it is uh, Monday as I record this. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.